the act man is a guy on the internet i don't know anything about the act man really it's just one of those like obviously like massive per- people from a different side of the internet that i haven't come across i've heard people bring up the act man a bunch of times i don't know too much about him we're gonna be watching a video from him where he apparently got to debate some guy called andy pants uh who may or may not i don't know be part of the like mauler family of 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 grifters you know what I mean? the like uh the efap family of grifters or whatever the fuck that is i I've, I've i've never even fucking watched every frame of pause too fucking long uh but i've seen people make fun of them don't care why do you have opinion on them i don't know it gets come off cringe what the fuck why do i gotta why do i have to watch a property to fucking know everything about it right isn't that kind of like the vibe isn't that kind of the vibe either way act man is a video game talker about her guy that's been on the internet for apparently fucking forever right and i'm just kind of coming across him because people have been telling me to watch this he debated a guy named andy pants gaming and um it apparently went so fucking bad that andy pants has been scoured scoured from the internet by his own hand um and and i'm excited the this this comes preloaded with information um to catch you up on the context so we're just gonna hop into it hopefully act man isn't uh dark viper au and i don't have to worry about getting copyright struck or anything but we're gonna check this out act man here and recently i did a debate with the youtuber andy pants gaming now some of you may be familiar with him some of you won't be But I did a debate on his channel, and because he's been deleting comments, or sorry, disabling comments, enabling comments, disabling them again, disabling the live. I know, I'm just instant pause. I I gotta say this, because I get accused of this, and it it, it goes all over the place. I do delete some comments, usually because somebody's saying like slurs. (laughs) That's it. If you make fun of me, I'm way more likely to just like fight you, but disabling and like turning off comments and stuff i think that's a much bigger indicator than this like constant everyone keeps talking about like are you removing contents is is this guy removing comments is that guy for me or even people that i don't like i can we just as a as a culture end that because youtube is doing it itself i have insulted people on my own fucking goddamn channel and YouTube deleted my fucking comment. I saw it. I saw. I saw it happen because I have the fucking mod tools. YouTube just went no, and it was gone. I couldn't even get it back to like edit it. They didn't even give me the like, hey, dipshit, we're gonna fucking ban you if you post stuff like this and people complain about it because this is like a bannable offense type comment. I didn't even get anything like that. I just posted it. It vanished immediately. It just goes away, and that's what happens. If you write slurs on my channel or violate the TOS that I put up, you know, for interacting TOS, then you'll, you'll get deleted. But I I think the, uh, I think the actual thing that we're supposed to be having this conversation we're supposed to be having about this is if you turn comments off, I think that's a little bit more valuable. Sorry. I just wanted to get that out. Replay chat, unlisting the stream, republicizing it. Um, it, he's just flip-flopping on all of this nice and try 18, for the sake of authenticity and transparency. I'm reposting the entire debate here. I hop on the call at about six and a half minutes in. So six and a half minutes after. X-Man was on EFAB. EFAB has always had a right wing bent, but the guests used to be more true believers. What is fucking even EFAB? Every time somebody said like, you should check this out. They send me something that's like 17 fucking hours long. And I know that's an exaggeration probably, but like, it's like seven, eight, nine. And like the fucking conversation spread out through. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to. That's why I tried to keep, I tried to keep mine, mine down to like four hours, four hours tight. And even when mine goes up to like seven eight hours, you know, it's going to be like seven hours of fucking like con- constant fucking shit. Just me talking the entire time. Or whatever this introduction ends but that six and a half minutes might be important context to get an idea of what his attitude and vibe was prior to the debate and you know see how he's handled things after to give you some context this guy was the one who made a video called woke youtubers in which he alleged that i was a gay communist shilling for <laughs> the woke agenda or something Base. with no evidence behind it and so as i've watched their content on a consistent basis i realized these dudes are so deep in the gay communist agenda they can't even criticize it anymore i thought he was going to be joking and it was going to be like 
his interpretation, like the boil down was like, you're a gay communist. I didn't realize he's going to say these guys are gay communists. Act man is indeed good at playing an act. He's good at appearing natural and looking like he's riffing. The reality is he's reading a careful script that has definitely been run by his handlers at Activision and Bungie and other DEI departments. I came on to debate him about various things. Not really sure what was going to happen, but <clears throat> things did not go the way Andy wanted. And because he is not being transparent and he is trying to hide things from his audience and hey, from my yo. audience, um, I feel it necessary to post the stream in its entirety here. Hey, so, yo. Feel free to go down to the comments and roast the fuck out of me. Make fun of me. I encourage it. I always try to welcome criticism. And, you know, it helps me get better as a person and as a content creator. I'm Based. not perfect. I make mistakes. I don't always handle things the best way, of course. But I'm not going to silence you down in the comments. So go talk shit about me. Say whatever you want about the debate. And uh, because Andy's not offering that on his channel. So six and a half minutes after this is when I jump in to debate. And that runs until the very end. So watch. Make up your own mind and uh, enjoy. This is gonna be a fucking. What's going on? This is gonna be a fucking bloodbath, isn't it? A debate intro that sounds like that is just so fu. He doesn't give it. This is a bloodbath. This is a fucking bloodbath, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm actually like legitimately. <laughs> I, I don't know who Andy Pants Gaming is, but I'm I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know who's about to walk in from the other side of this fucking arena, but I think that guy might be in some trouble. That's a really, that's a really confident Boys, intro. Uh, about to get Act Man in here in a second. Hmm. Hang on one second. Trying to figure out why my icon's not showing up. Is he gonna puss out because leftists are pussies? You're not debating loner box, darling. Is Act Man gonna run away because leftists are cowards? Okay, he's he's typing me a message. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, he's juicing it up. <laughs> I got a cold. He got COVID. StreamYard ain't picking up my camera for some reason. Trying to fix it. Okay. All right, dude. There he is, boys. The man What's himself. Yeah. Hey, yo. All right, Ackman. I have I have one question just to start off. Um, in the words of the African prince, why are you gay? <laughs> why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You're not you're not gay. It's just that you were supporting. Um, you didn't you didn't follow through with the line, bro. Come on, man. You, you were supporting Leon mods that were gay, and you were anti Ashley mods. And I was wondering why you did that. Huh? You're wondering why I did. What why, are you referring why, to? For Resident Evil Four, you were in support of Leon mods and in, in support of gay Leon mods, acting like they were no big deal. And you were again, and then you called people that were pro Ashley mods. This is like, just oh, demon weirdo. mode from before. I don't know if I said the term weirdo. I mean, if you have the tweet. We can go over it or whatever the tweets are. Yeah. Do you have that on you? So what I have here is there's my there's that, this is my opening. Why are you? This is your yeah. This is your this is my, this is my your project file. This this is my Google Doc. So I thought this was one interesting tweet. You said um yeah. So I mean we can we can start off with this stuff by the way. Like dude, we're I'm just down dude, to free form. Dude, I'm just going right into it and feel free to ask ask me a question whenever you want. But um I think a lot of people are familiar with the Nexus mods scandal. How uh they're they're banned so people just wanted to remove LGBT trash from games and Nexus was banning them and not allowing them to. And then the reverse was not possible. So um, basically people are not allowed to remove LGBT, LGBT stuff from games. And what you said here was um, this is false. Nexus mods is not working to delete mods that remove pronouns from Starfield. Mm -hmm. And then there was a clarification note that said um, from Nexus mods that said, this is actually true. If we think someone is uploading a mod on our site with intent to deliberately be against inclusivity or diversity, then we will take action against it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you think this is some kind of like gotcha? Like I mean, do you, when do you I admit not, to mistakes, like so do you not? Do you not see the double standard that people are allowed to put like gay stuff in there, but aren't allowed to aren't allowed to remove it? Are you talking about Nexus Mods double standard? Yeah, because well, I mean, they're an independent company, aren't they? So they're no, allowed 100%. to do what they want. Of course, there might be a double standard there, but right. there's also the idea that no matter what they choose, they're going to piss some group of people off, right? If they allow mods like that. They're going to piss off one group, but if they take them down, they're going to piss off the other. So it's really a no win situation for them. Yeah. And that's kind of up to people's own interpretations. But yeah, yeah I, I believe I corrected that mistake that I made, maybe a quote retweet or something. So if that's all the, that's, that can't be all the ammo you have. Surely you've got something. Oh, no, 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 no. My other question is Does the fence ever hurt? Do the splinters ever hurt from sitting on the fence so much, bud? Mm. Oh, so is this the route you want to go down? This is the route I want to go down. Let's go. Are you sure? Dude, just unload the ammo on me. Get, get, dude, I'm, I'm ready. 
Are you sure about this, man? Because I don't think you're cut out for this. I don't I think you know how this game sweetie, is played. Sweetie, I am. I'm so cut out for it. Sweetie, what? Why, why have me on when you have done such a terrible job? Bro, you can't call someone gay and then call them sweetie. <laughs> you sound... You trying to fuck me? <laughs> job of purging your digital footprint. Go ahead. I've got. I had an old Xbox channel that was stupid. Go ahead. Go I just ahead. changed. I changed the percent on my own YouTube ahead. channels. And, well, I have your permission. Go ahead, dude. Oh. Go, you want to call me homophobic now or later? I don't care about that shit, bro. I care about you being a fake. Oh. And that when the people find out who you really are, the leopards will eat your face. Go for I it. Don't... Go for it. I've changed. I'll, I'll be super transparent on what I've changed my position on and what I haven't changed my position on. Hmm. I've always talked, even on my old Xbox channel, I talked about the woke garbage. It's just people didn't want to hear it at the time. And now my new channel, people want to hear about it. So I talk about it more. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, you certainly do. So, so I, I seriously though, dude, I really do want to ask you though. Um, before we get into like, like digging up, like digging up junk on each other, dude. Look, I loved your videos from like seven or eight years ago. And do you agree that there has been a steep decline in masculinity in video games since that era of like oh six, oh seven? Like, I know you love that era of games. Do you agree Don't there has all. been a steep decline in masculinity since then in games? Steep decline. I mean, there's obviously still instances of games that have masculine protagonists, sure, but. You know, I'd have to I would have to watch your masculinity video in its entirety. I think I watched about seven or eight minutes. Okay. And uh, yeah, but, that one that one hit the algorithm. Yeah. I noticed a. a ch Andy Pants has a Discord Bible Study Club. He's on Hinge, dude. What the fucking Bible Study Clubs is the most cringe shit. What? Where did that come from? Go to fucking church, loser. I don't even know if you want to be religious, that's fine. Okay. All right. Bible, Bible camp. You want to do Bible study? Okay. Go to fucking church. Go, go talk to a fuck. Go talk to fucking a, a priest or some shit. Uh, un unironically, I think it's weird as fuck that people get together and do Bible studies with fucking random lay people streamers on the internet it's so fucking weird what do you mean i'm gonna go do bible study like back in, when i was a kid going to do bible study at someone's house was a fucking like a, a little elbow joke for like i'm gonna go fuck that person like what are you doing like oh yeah i'm going over to stephanie's house to do some bible study all right yeah 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 you didn't get fucking you didn't get a little topped up okay i get it this fucking Oh, do you guys, uh, and don't forget to join my server. We got Bible study streams. Like, dude, is this just the fucking, the, 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 the non Sunday version of like, we have literally no content. I'm just going to randomly read some fucking dry academic text, but it's the fucking Bible. And then we're all going to do a little fucking, or, 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 or. you know what I mean? We're all going to clap about it. What in the fuck is that? What is, it's so weird. The first time I saw it was the Melanie Mac chick, right? That that fucking uh, mozzarella stick of a fucking streamer, the butter girl. <laughs> she doesn't even understand how fucking funny that sounds. With this with this stupid bullshit, and fucking like I got a Bible study. Go to church, loser. There's churches fucking everywhere. They're better at it than you. There's a fucking asshole there. Maybe maybe not in robes. All that prick fuck does is look at the fucking Bible all day. Okay. That's, a, that, that, that's what they're for. There's like one fucking type of person on earth that's good at Bibles and shit other than theology people at colleges and it's their job. Go fuck, go to them. I, I'm just gonna say it. If you do Bible study with somebody that accepts donos, you're a fucking freak. You're fucking weird. You're weird. I don't give a shit. It's how I, how I express my religion. Ew, no. Shut up. You know how my grandma did her fucking religion? She went and volunteered at a church. She did secretarial work and helped do food banking and stuff. You're not fucking, you're, there's not, no more of this fake religion to justify wanting to fucking bust to, to Laura Croft with her tits out. Okay. Cause that's all it, it's a, even goddamn it's brought up Melanie Mac. It's a direct connection. I want to bust to fatter tittied video game models. Also, I have a fucking, I have a fucking Bible study. What, what in the fuck is that? Just have post nut shame like everyone else does. And if you're religious, go to the fucking church. Go to your fucking mosque. All right, go to synagogue. 
Do office hour. Go to the fucking church and pray like a fucking adult. I'm sick of internet church people. You're weird as fuck. You're not fuck. Whatever the fuck you're pretending to be, you're not that. You're not Methodist. You're not fucking Christian. You're not fucking Mormon even. You're not Catholic. You're a fucking weirdo that accepts donos on the internet. If you want to hear somebody talk about the fucking Bible, go to church and hang out with all the people in real life at the fucking church and volunteer to do Christian acts at the fucking church. I'm a fucking atheist. I shouldn't be the one that's saying this. I shouldn't be the one that's hand-holding religious people back into being religious in a way that fucking in some way, shape, or form, honors God. Okay, I left this shit, I'm, I outgrew it. I outgrew it. I went to Catholic school. I went to fucking Catholic school, okay? I don't mind you religious fucks. Some of you were neat, some of you were fucking cringe. Pretty much the same with everybody else. Go to the fucking church to worship God and read your book. They have, whole, they'll, they have a, I swear to fucking God, look up churches in my area. Every fucking one of them will have a Sunday, 3 p.m. after church Bible study. Wednesday afternoon, 9 p.m. singles Bible study. Singles Bible studies. You think I'm fucking out? Of, you think I'm fucking crazy? You weirdo fucks. Go talk to people in real life about the Bible. Stop going to discords and fucking cooming to Melanie Mac. And just fuck, do Bible shit like a goddamn adult. I don't know where this internet shit came. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm a long haul trucker. I'm on the Alaskan ice roads. Okay, well, you're going to go to the fuck. Go to the goddamn Bible uh, study in, in the fucking trailer church, okay? Don't try to trick me. You think I ain't ever been out of the fucking city? Go to the goddamn ISO container with a cross spray painted on the side of it and worship with those people, and then do a Bible study with them, with real human beings. Stop making me teach you people how to be fucking Christians. <laughs> I fucking swear to God, I'm an atheist! I don't even fuck with that, but this weird new it, I got a coom, and I do Bible study, drives me up the fucking wall. It is so weird. Because I respect religious people. And I feel like that's somehow more insulting to them than me saying, like, I just don't get it and I don't want to fuck... Bygones? Okay. Y'all are fucking like, no, I'm hyper-religious. I, I fucking... I, I, I crusade for fucking fat-titty internet girls or fat-titty video game girls and then I do Bible study. What in the fuck? How fucking weird. Jesus Christ didn't want you to do any of that shit, okay? <laughs> Ew. Ugh. That's how I feel about you fucking weirdos. Change in the type of content your channel. Thank uh, you for has. the dono, by the way. But to answer your question, if there's been a steep decline, how do you quantify masculinity? I mean, <laughs> like the Doom games, like 2016, well, dude, I... Doom Eternal, Doom the Dark Ages coming out. We just had Space Marine 2. That's pretty fucking masculine. I mean, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4 remake. I, I think Leon Kennedy's a fucking badass, pretty masculine. Isaac Clark, the Dead Space remake. Yeah. Pretty fucking masculine. Uh, exactly, but which is a remake of a 2007 game. Right, but those are still remakes released within the last couple of years, all featuring protagonists that we all consider to be fucking Giga Chads. So right, saying, obviously saying, there's some contention around your premise that masculinity has fallen off on a steep decline or something. In some okay. ways, sure. Maybe there's more uh, pandering. Well, I'm, just, oh, yeah, well, go ahead. I'm, just, I'm just saying that we had Medal of Honor, we had Sam Fisher, we had Ghost Recon, we had all of these great like masculine characters in games, and it seems like everything now is either a remake, like, like what new, very masculine character uh, uh, has come in a game recently? Are they still... New, yeah. Sam, uh, uh, Sam Fisher. <laughs> Sam Fisher was in like released in three fucking games all at once. Remember when they tried it? You, if you don't know about competitive shooters, they added Sam Fisher was added to Rainbow Six Siege. All right, like two and a half years ago, and also put in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Ghost, whatever the fucking one that's in the jungle. He was ad there. Tyler, you summarized the debate. <laughs> I hope not. 
Kratos, yeah, God of War. Kratos is masculine as shit. Kratos is a fucking hardworking single father trying to raise his son after the death of his wife. <laughs> Kratos, Kratos is like, I think I said this at some other point too. Kratos in the new God of War series is the most masculine fucking idol I've ever seen in a video game ever. He's like, like to the point where I got like choked up. I only played the first of the, the two new sequels. I was like, because I, I grew up with Kratos. Kratos is kind of like my age-ish, right? Like when I was a teenager and edgy, Kratos was like an edgy young, like, well, he's like probably in his 20s or 30s or whatever in the game. Who the fuck knows? You know what I mean? But he was like really like aimed to me as like an edgy teenager. And as I got older, playing the older game of God of War games, I'm like, this is a man that's come to term with his demons and grown up. And now he's like a positive role model for his son trying to not let his son go down the same dark path that he did, which literally ended in him murdering his original family. So it's not sunshine and rainbows. Okay. Like he's such a good fucking role model. Isaac Clark is great. He's a little engineer. He just, he's just a guy with a job and a weird girlfriend. You know, I think that's fine. Um, and, and the thing is, I don't think that characters always have to stand for something like from soft, one of the biggest things I think really, and it's like a fake aspect of this, maybe they'll get into it. I know I keep pausing, but um, is the uh, the fact that after about 2011, right around 2011 specifically with, with Skyrim, we transitioned away from character-driven games like for over a decade. Completely. We completely transitioned away from character-driven games into sandbox games and character creation games. So you're like, oh, why don't we have all these characters? Well, it's because like Elden Ring was big, but your character is a blank slate. You build the character. Dragon's Dogma, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a blank slate. You build the character. And like, there's a series of these that are the same way. Um, because like RPGs are just kind of like that in a general sense these days. They're always character creator RPGs. And like a lot of the JRPGs just don't catch on the West because... We've never really had them catch on in the West, even though a lot of them are pretty good. You know, so I, I just don't even know what... I, I don't know really what this is based on or why, why it, it matters. You know, because like Hollow Knight's fucking great. I don't know what the masculine idol in Hollow Knight is. I guess it's probably uh, my dude Elderbug, you know? Because he's just there always saying hi to people. He's just like a good steward. For the country. <laughs> Are you talking like entirely new franchise? Right. It's not a remake of a 2007 game because that just proves my point that games yeah, back Geralt in the day from were more the masculine and everything's feminine now. I, I think, think you're just moving feminine. the goalpost because yeah. you're talking about masculinity in video games. And I gave you several examples of protagonists, but now you're saying, what about new characters? So no, you're no, kind no. of just moving the goalposts on this. No, no, I, I don't have to move the goalposts. Uh, Dead Space is a remake of a 2007 game, so that proves my point. So yeah. you, you, you disagree. You disagree that games yeah, are... Yeah, fucking are... Red Dead Redemption 2, Arthur Morgan. Like a man's man. I don't want to. I don't care about what you have to say, Micah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Or, or have been feminized. You disagree that masculinity is in decline in video games. Is that what you're saying? Cuphead. Um, I disagree with some parts of, of what you've said, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, has the check cleared for Payday 3? Uh, yeah, it did. Okay, all right. Hit the bank yeah. account. Yeah, sure did. Okay. It's great that someone is fine. Like, you can finally confront me on that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Good, good. Because it was trash. I don't see how you how you could justify. I mean, right now, there's like five. Do you want an actual people. explanation or are you just looking for cheap gotcha moments? Because I'm telling I, you, man, no, I my, do want my closet is clean. Dude, okay? I do want an explanation. Do want and an I have found a lot in yours. Oh, boy. Okay? I, I do want an actual explanation. Oh, okay. Well, the explanation is that the version of Payday 3 that I played in New York, I was told by certain people at the company, like, you know, the... I guess the word liaison would be the right word, like the creator liaison, the, the person who's talking to the content creators and telling them the plan and all that. And I had gotten back from the New York event and I had checked the footage because they sent us all home with with um, flash drives. And I checked the footage and it was it's all corrupt. And I started talking to the other guys who were at the event. I was like, dude, do you have any working footage for this? Because mine is just totally fucked up. There's no audio. So there was technical problems at the event itself. Then when it came time for the beta, I think it was the public or the closed beta, they had two of them. Mm -hmm. I played that, had more technical problems with the servers, and I asked them, hey, is this what the game is going to be like when it comes out? Because uh, like, I'm having server issues, and what I was told is that the version we played in New York was a newer build. Hmm. And so I went into that with the impression that, okay, 
Yeah. You know, I'm going to post this video. I'm leaving for These a trip. These anti-gay bros are always wondering where the I'm men gonna are. I'm going to post this video before I leave. And I Where's hope, all the men's at? I hope it doesn't turn into a shit show. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I... I do have serious regrets about that because if I had just done a better job in the intro of saying like, hey, the game is not out yet. This, you know, please wait for reviews. I wish I had done that. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah. Repentance. We all have to repent, you know, for our mistakes and uh, ask for forgiveness. Yeah. You're a religious well, man, aren't you? I, I am. And and that's and I appreciate that, that because several people had brought that up to me and it's good for you to to hear an explanation for it. Um, I mean, that's uh, that's the uh, the simpler explanation is that maybe it was a miscommunication from this guy. Uh, maybe he was told something by someone higher up and he relayed that to me like, oh, yeah, don't no, Don't worry. It's it's a newer build. And uh, and so, like, you know, these people had the event was professional, everything except like the small technical difficulties. I hadn't ever really done like pre-release reviews before. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't often get invited to to those things. I think I've done Halo Wars 2 and Payday 3 are the only two events where I think I've been uh, actually invited out to. Mm hmm. I talk a lot of shit, so if you want to accuse me of be Bro, <laughs> being I, a shill, I don't dude. get invited to a lot of things. Did you? So you truly liked Black Ops Six? You truly like the new Call of Duty game? Because that feels like we're waiting for the check to clear from Activision as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're just you, the funny thing is that parts of your audience don't know that you're joking. No, I'm not joking, brother. I swear to God, I I'm hear you laughing. Like I, I, I'm laughing at the fact that I think you were. Paid I, I don't off think I don't think you're an idiot, bro. Dude, Andy, I'm telling you right now, this just done. Andy Pants Gaming thinks he's fucking Medicare. That just bloop. That just that that was a gym delivery. Hey, buddy, when he went, when, when's that? Uh, hey, buddy, when's that check gonna clear? Hey, buddy, when's that check gonna clear? You still waiting for that check to clear? That's a fucking gym delivery. Let me let me fucking run that back. That pesky ad block. Oh. <laughs> See, you're just... You, the funny thing is that parts of your audience don't know that you're joking. No, I'm not joking, brother. I swear to God. I I'm hear you laughing. Like I, I, I'm laughing at the fact that I think you were... I, I, don't think, I don't think you're an idiot, bro. If, if you're familiar, dude, I swear to God. Everything... Th uh, this just popped in my... I wouldn't make this... I wouldn't say this. I would not say this unprompted. It's such a crazy leap to make because there's so many other people that talk online, but the pulsing, like the Discord head face, right? Not being online, like not having your face on your face cam stuff. That's part of it. It's a million little cuts, but the, hey, brother, I just want, I, I just want to know about, you know, is that check going to clear? When's that check going to clear? <laughs> you know, uh, what are the, that sounds like such a fucking Jim Medicare attempt at a delivery that it is like, once I said it, it's in my fucking head. Like, this is a guy that watched, like, the old fucking, uh, the, the, the old, like, the ones that are deleted off of YouTube now, the old fucking, like, Medicare archives shit, and fucking internalized it, and think that he, he thinks he can fucking swing because he put a doc together. That's what this sounds like. But Medicare has one strength above all things, and that's that he does not fucking care. If you can't achieve that minimum, that, like, Jim doesn't give a shit. Doesn't fucking care. He doesn't care. He does not care. Jim is dying and laughing on his way out and has been for 50 fucking years. So, like, if you can't get that, you can't handle that type of delivery. And... I think that's what this setup is. It has that same, oh, you know, that pesky ad block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That pesky ad block. It has that, it has that fucking vibe. I might be out of my mind. Let's keep going. Familiar with my content. You have a very good understanding. You ain't influencing shit tonight, buddy. <laughs> it's it, that adding that brother or that buddy kind of, dude, am I fucking, am I out of my mind? Am I out of my mind? I'm summoning Beckett. Beckett. Only for this chunk. Somebody link Beckett. Tell me if I'm fucking crazy or not. I have to know. Just have him watch this and tell me if he thinks this guy is trying to do like a little fucking, a little fucking Medicare impression. Of why Activision does not pay me or offer to pay me, nor would I accept offers Dude, for you're payment. you're talking about their game. You're still talking about their game. And you just said, uh, what did you say? Treyarch is cooking with this one. Yes. So... Has the check cleared? That's my only question. Because the game is dog shit. I've played it. The game is dog shit. Objectively, of course, right? 
your yeah, your subjective okay. opinion. Yeah, you're just you're fucking with me, bro. And it's yeah. like it's so easy to sniff it out, man. If you're gonna, oh, I thought no, this was satire at first. What you were doing, <laughs> I thought you were making fun of video game critique. Um, Dude, dude video, video I, game. this guy is wearing a fucking four star hat right now. That's the most cringe shit uh, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> this dude, this dude, this dude got ready for this. He's not on a fucking cam right now because he's wearing a fucking four star hat. I'm sorry, go ahead. Dude, just because I'm chuckling doesn't mean this is a and joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. I disavow, disavow, obviously. Medicare's a bad guy. All right. Medicare says, Medi Medicare says no, no words. He has terrible fucking opinions. But Medicare is God tier at blood sports, literally fucking unassailable. And a lot of people try to cover, like try to fucking rip off the Medicare vibe. Okay. Even myself to a certain degree. Um, and even if you disagree with him, you got to give the guy props for what he is, but he did. There are a lot of people out there that I think that they're overly confident because they listen to some Medicare shit. And then they think that they can go into the fucking like blood sports arenas and fucking like, <laughs> you know, Oh yeah, that's what this is. Blah, blah, blah. And have that kind of delivery. And this, this, this shit f just immediately <laughs> snapped into fucking mind that this guy is trying to fucking do a Medicare into here. I a hundred percent think the game is trash. And I, uh, and you, and you honestly legitimately think I'm being paid by Activision. Dude, I, I, I do wonder if it's second hand. You're a smart guy. Think, you're not I'm, retarded. I'm, let's, I'm, let's not insult both of our intelligences <laughs> here. Okay. If you genuinely think I'm, I'm being paid by Activision, you have never watched a single Call of Duty video I've made. You're still talking about the game, though, so I'm trying to piece a lot of these things together, like why... And you're doing a really bad job of it, Why you way. don't talk about woke stuff, why you... There's there's certain rates that you avoid stepping on, and I wonder if it's to be more palatable to your corporate uh, handlers. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I knew you were going to de deny that, so it's fine. What? Um, Here's my, here's my other no, question. No, 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 I'll answer that question. Yeah. I'll answer that. Why do I avoid... So I, I watched about two minutes of your woke YouTubers video, and I could not stop laughing. And I was like, I got to... I got to sit down, get some popcorn and really enjoy this. Right. I liked, I especially liked the part where you were like, why don't these YouTubers talk about racism directed towards white people? Yes. And, and you know what? You're right, bro. I, I, I started working on a new video. It's called, why is the great replacement theory so bad? And I think, I think the fans are going to love it. Um, we're, we're just hard pivoting to uh, political content on my main channel. Uh, I, I'm, I'm all in. I'm like you, man. I'm all in. Dude. Dude, I get it. I get it. Uh, you want to protect your money. You want to protect your cash. And the way you do oh that God, is by playing dude. both sides. You, no, you both I, dude, I, want to my money I want to protect my money, too. I get it. I know at the and cost of your own I'm soul, saying. man, you are you are sacrificing something that you when you go up to the man upstairs, he's going to know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Are I've you? gone through your history. I have Yo. all the archives. I have, all the, I have the community post you deleted yesterday about us. You, you're so bad at deleting things and hiding. Bro, he said when you go fuck it when you when you go to the pearly gates. <laughs> Bro, I said when you're when that fucking crocodile starts fucking weighing your heart with a against a feather. Holy shit, man! Any things from your audience, bro? I have it all. Okay. No, I, Are you it, familiar it, with poker terminology? And I want to see all of it. And I want to see all of all of the ammo that you have on me. I, uh, all right. Well, well I mean, I mean, you're work. you're in a position where the leopards might come to eat your face. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. When your audience sees the things you've tried to hide from them, go for it. They will turn tell on you. Us, Some of them will. Tell us what I what I've hidden from my oh. audience. Go for it. All right. That was bad. Well, speaking, we could start off light. But um, you're you're a huge fan of Starfield, aren't you? At one point, I was a big fan of Starfield, and I mm. I have over and I, I'm glad you brought that up because I actually get in fights. I'm, I'm going to cut them off real quick. N neither of the two people in this is a leftist um, by by really any stretch of the imagination. Actman seems pretty center, like an actual like centrist type guy, just from how he's talking. I I don't know that much about him, but from his general disposition. I would say uh, Libby Lib centrist, probably an actual, a legitimate median voter, you know, a guy that might actually vote Trump one time and then vote Obama one time and then vote fucking R Romney one time and then vote, you know, like ba an actual like right there at the border point of the... Uh, of the fucking of the of the Overton wing, window, more than likely, people that like have watched him for a long time are probably mad at him, in the way that a lot of idiots that are fucking hyper reactionary get mad at people that are 
actually legitimately in the middle. They're just politically unconcerned because, yeah, whatever. It's a position of privilege that they don't have to be. But when you are legitimately politically unconcerned by stuff, reactionaries freak the fuck out about you, especially if you're like highly placed and noticeable. And so more than likely, if I had to guess, the act man guy is a person who people have have shadow boxed um, by by basically doing reactionary shadow puppeting with him a number of times. And he's probably more in the right wingy chud um, circle of content, like video game entertainment criticism, but not from a like, let's get into the deeper, uh, you know, what, what, what are the deeper themes here? You know, fucking like uh, lit cuck shit that I'm into. He's probably a guy that does mostly criticism. If I have to guess just from what he was talking about in the intro to this. And when you're just mostly into criticism and quality, it's kind of like shopper's guide stuff. So you get a lot of real casual audience people and that will kind of skew you a little bit more center and a little bit more righty too, because the righties are always just going to watch when they're, they're like, please somebody fucking say something bad about the thing I don't like. And they'll bring it, it'll bring it in. So you have like this basically like wave crashing against you. If you're in this dude's position more than likely. And as the tide as the Overton window kind of goes here, the tide of like, you said something that the fucking chuds who think that you they you owe your entire career to, you know, they're like, you said fuck Icar, but the titties. And then eventually you have to deal with it. If I had to guess, that's probably the vibe. You are so bad at deleting things. This is such a big roast. <laughs> uh, so I would say that this guy, this dude right here is a... I would say the vibe he's giving off alt right grifter, a leftover 2017 era fully ripened alt right grifter, almost a decade too old, almost a decade in the pot. Just just been around just a touch too long. You start to stink. You can get the cheese whiff off of him. Um, and if he's not, he's trying to in, he's trying to like build his grifter persona off of imitating people like that, which means he's behind the curve. You know, because grifters are always at the cutting edge. They pay attention to the news and they've been reacting in a certain direction for so long. They know where to be. So when somebody tries to build up one of those personas, they always come off as being kind of like behind the curve. Like, what are you talking about? That's a 2021 issue. You can kind of catch them at it sometimes. I think that's this guy's deal. My own audience sometimes, because sometimes I am... Sometimes there's aspects of Starfield that I will justify. And I was a big fan of just of Starfield at one point. And... Over time, as I've played the game more, I've played it more, and I've realized that, um, you know, I had an. I, so, if you're talking about my my pro Starfield Xbox video that I made at one point, oh, I'm talking about the, that and the hundreds of community posts Andy sucking Pants it off. You want to talk about corporate man. chilling, man? Go oh. down, go down to Andy's Xbox channel and look at all the undeleted community posts he has sucking off Starfield. Dude, go check. No, no I mean, you want to talk? You want to accuse me of being a corporate no. chill? No, I, mean, I just like the game. I like the game. I was no. Oh. paid off by Activision the way you they, are. They pay you five bucks for each of those. Everybody can go look at it. Go, go look, look, it right look you're, faking, you're faking this confidence, and I, no. I've seen through it. Okay, no I see way. through this facade. Go for uh, it. Your audience might not at this point, but if they watch... If you guys didn't catch that, um, he was talking... Starfield is like one of those games that people were talking shit about, right? I, I didn't play it. It looked like ass to me. And he's talking about being a shill, and then Andy Pants is coming out, like, apparently sucking off Starfield of all games. Just one of the best games of all time. And Actman, he said, you, you didn't delete your community posts, and we just looked you up in your case you were fucking kissing the ass of a dog shit game no one liked. <laughs> what the? How did you slip up that fucking hard? Oh my god! Watch the video that I create. They will. Go Some of them it. will. You know. For it. So one question for you: um, Concord had three black females in it, and not a single white man. Did you three too many? Was, isn't it? Just, did you think that was strange at all? Did you think that was strange at all that it had three black females in it and one white man? Or are you just going to ignore like obvious stuff? This is the hard hitting stuff. Bro. <laughs> no, it's just a question. Can you? Just, answer just, is that? Is that like? Isn't isn't that kind of like a judo flip? If you don't like. If you don't like affirmative action and diversity quotas, then why are you why why do you know how many of everyone's in there? You shouldn't even be counting. Right? Why are you doing the diversity quota? This is this is I know I, I we're gonna get back to it because I, I, I feel like this is legitimately gonna be a, a a murder and we're gonna watch the entire thing. But I gotta say, 
um, this is one of the funniest things to me. I see a bad game and I forget about it. I, like literally, like you guys have to pay me to engage with because I don't do reviews. Really, I mean, I do some media reviews, but I like to get like in depth and talk about the whole of a thing. Like, I, I want to talk about like everything about how something's made. Get all the way into it. But like, I, I don't, I don't preemptively get mad about most games. I, I can't. Maybe I did at some point on this channel, but I really can't remember. But like, these guys will have an encyclopedic knowledge of games they can't have even played yet because they like weren't released. Um, or that no one else did. It's like, I, how do you know how many fucking characters are in the Concord game? I saw a few like screenshots from it. I was like, I, I literally can't remember what I saw because it was so bland. Like, I just can't, I cannot, I could not draw from memory um, the shapes of anything. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, this is like shit. And then I stopped fucking caring. I stopped caring. I stopped caring at all. Um, and the only time I ever fucking talk about any of this shit was when these fucking idiots get super stiked. Like the goddamn Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade's gonna save gaming. I'm like, this game looks fucking mid. And we're on the other side of it, and no one has talked about Stellar Blade except for gooners and porno enthusiasts for forever. I think every once in a while I see uh someone here or there streaming it, and no one fucking talks about the goddamn game. It's a video game, it's a consumer product. These guys always know fucking everything. Like this Concord game that I don't think anyone's gonna play. I think it's already, has it already been pulled? It's like, it's supposed to be the next like shooter, like an Overwatch style. It's already been pulled. This guy's like, this guy specifically had three black ladies and one white guy. How do you know? Why, why did you, why did you count how many black people were in the game you don't care about? Why did you count how many black people were in the game you shouldn't care about? You shouldn't give a fuck. You shouldn't give a fuck. Not a fuck, not a single goddamn iota of concern. But you're like, I know exactly how many fucking black women are in it. Have you seen the black women in the game? There's three black women in the game. Only one white man. X undetermined amount of other. The, 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 the gray area of non-black woman, non-white man <laughs> that, that comprises the rest of the racial spectrum. It would have been so much more gangster if this guy had named the race and like uh, gender of everybody. That would have been way more funny. We have one black man, two Latino females, one Latino male, a Tongan man, a Samoan man, a Samoan woman, two Pacific Islanders from a nondescript subsection of the Pacific Islands that only exists in this sci-fi area, one Iranian, two Iraqis, one male and one transgender, and a, a slew, an entire 20-person fucking send-up of Japanese, male, female, and otherwise, specifically three women, six men, and the rest are other gendered. Like, if you would have given me that, I would have been like, all right, I see at least what you're cooking with. I, got, I want the full census. Why did the census end at three black women, one white man? Sounds like a fucking McDonald's order for a sociopath. I'm asking questions. Uh, was I... No, I was more distracted by how unappealing all of the character design. Concord, Concord was shut down and players were funded. Well, it's done! Bye. I don't, why do you care? You can't play the game. Shovelware. What's, what's the most pissed you've ever been about shovelware that you didn't pay to exist? You know what I mean? Like, all right, bye. What does that have to do with the characters? Who fucking made the dumb game? Like, you can talk about... Talk about the bad game designers. Why are you talking? What do you feel about three black women and one white man in Concord? Like, I didn't know that fact, nor did I care. I want Concord to return to a type of grape jelly. Were. Imagine, like, see, the thing about you, Andy, is that I, I've seen older videos of, of you. Yeah. I've seen things, and you are capable of having good, like, nuanced, well thought out takes. Ooh, what so what you're hard, yeah, but what you're hard pivoting to right now is built on a foundation of lies and hatred. Okay, and, and you're pivoting to this towards what? Towards anyone that's gay, all the LGBTQ community. Did like, say, did you say that you're a Christian earlier? Uh, I would, I would not say I am a Christian. I'm not like a, a practicing Christian, but I do okay. uh, at times talk to friends, and I, 
what would it be like not necessarily practicing christianity <laughs> uh, but you talk to your friends and you integrity. understand act man this is what people say online you have no integrity this is what we're talking about what you have that zero i'm not integrity. a christian because you're I'm... trying to play both sides to make money on your youtube channel you have wait, zero wait, hold up you just asked me if i was a christian where are you going yes, with that i did i did what does that Dude, have to do what's with my integrity? both sides with... it had are, do you stand on your are you a christian or not and do you stand on those values uh no i'm not a practicing christian okay. no all i don't right. go to church okay all right why, why do you ask what's what's the purpose of that well, no, you just started. Yeah. Bro, did he just, are you a Christian or a Jew him? <laughs> shout out, shout out Lore Lodge. Shout out old friend of the channel, Lore Lodge. Are you a Christian or a Jew? <laughs> like, like if you say yes, you're a Christian, like we're, we're going to ignore the fact that there's 4 billion fucking different denominations of Christianity, none of which agree with each other on anything. And, like, you can go from First Methodist to Second Methodist to the Third Methodist to Methodist National in the same town, and every congregation is going to be fundamentally different on a series of issues. Like, what in the fuck is that? What, what kind of Christian? You shut, dude, like, this is why I, 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 I fucking love to have arguments with these guys, but I fucking ab just abuse this dude the entire time. What kind of Christian are you? You know what I mean? What, 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 what church do you go to? What, what is your denomination? What are your beliefs? The fuck kind of Christian shit do you do on your Discord server, you weirdo? You know, it's... it's. Do you think I'm like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Ninth Commandment. I'm sure you're familiar with it. What is that? Uh, coveting? No, no. It's funny. My, my buddy said it. Uh, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I'm a big fan of that one. Okay, did I did I lie somewhere? Hey, yo, Bible study in my house. I have not yet gotten the Ten Commandments down. <laughs> I don't remember him either because I don't really fucking, I don't really make myself abide by them. But the, are you a Christian? I do Bible study on my server. I literally cannot name the ten fundamental tenets of my religion off fucking, off, off the dome is kind of crazy. Dude, Christians are cry internet Christians. I'll give it. Internet Christians are wild. Fucking aesthetic Christians. Jesus Christ. Where you've done you've done a lot of lying, buddy. Or, okay, where, where did I where did I lie? This should be good. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. We have a funny quote from you. Let's see if I can. There are only ten in some repeat. Yeah, that's I found why your I get video confused. on political bias and game journalism. And again, it's like. This is a good take. He's a corner, see, like, corner orthodox. Is not going to like something that you say here. Oh, great! I can't wait. Yeah, this is these are your words. The more gay, lesbian, trans, and female characters we have in games, the better. Uh, oh, the more I, diverse perspectives we have in games, the better they will always be. This this doesn't this isn't really lining up with the direction your channel is going. Hey, yo. Does it? Yeah. I what what I will say what I will say is that about a year ago. I was hey. backing Xbox a year ago. I think it's pretty commonly known that I used to have an Xbox channel. And then mm -hmm. I think in those moments of me backing Xbox, I would say stupid stuff at some points. And, you know, hey, you ever just lose your mind and come out for the gays? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a fucking like. A revelation from like 15, you know, like, oh, we went into your fucking Xbox Live. You know what I mean? We hunted down your live journal. It was a year ago this dude was on a different grift. Is crazy. You know, if anybody wants to find that or Google that or whatever, I don't know. Oh, really is that shit. one of those stupid things you, you yeah. don't think? Yeah. Well, oh, so you completely so, 180 that? So, 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 yes, it was stupid. And so, oh. what, what, so what I think you need to understand is that I formerly had an Xbox channel. And when you're going down that logic of like, oh, I have to support everything Xbox does, you start to say stupid stuff and you grow and you become a better person and you move on from that. And so, are you becoming a better person though? That I am. is that I am. Do you think so? How do you grow? <laughs> what was the moment when you were like, fuck these gay motherfuckers? What? I am, yeah. What do you want to do you want to go ahead and call me homophobic now or later? You said that twice. Like, is, no, the, is that your? No, go ahead. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Is this your fetish? Homophobic. Are you into that? You into that humiliation kink? <laughs> I, I, oh I'm. In, you like that? You fucking homophobe. <laughs> All right. Well, just know whenever you, you whenever you want to be like, oh, you're homophobic. I've just, you know, I've got, I've got a response ready for you. So whenever you want to do that. So, um, here's my next question. <laughs> you think so little? He said, he said you did not activate my trap card. 
Please, please, please. Act, man, I have a singer. Act, oh, do you want to say the thing? <laughs> this is, do you know what this is? We're talking about Medicare. This is another person that thought they were Medicare and they weren't, but talking to Medicare. This is exact, this sounds exactly like fucking Sargon talking to Medicare and getting fucking ripped inside out. That is exactly what this sounds like. It is crazy. This is, it, I think the only reason, the main thing is just the Gamergate closeness and the like, the alt-right and right-wing fucking sued identity politics sued shit. <laughs> I know exactly what slur, I know exactly what slur fucking Medicare would use in this situation. But like, that's exactly what this sounds like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, tell me more about uh, your new crusade. Tell me more about your new crusade. What do you got going on over there? That, given that given that LGBT are a tiny 3% of the population, is it strange at all to you that uh, their depravity is being pushed in 100% of games now? Um, so let's go back because... You're not that guy, pal. This is a pretty radical thing <laughs> you've said. The more gay, lesbian, trans, and female characters we have in games, the better. I want to focus on this because... Uh, well, can there's... you answer the question? Not something that what, I... Uh, said... you're, you're, what question? There's 3% LGBTQ+. Plus, uh, why is there more representation in games? They're 3% of the population. Do you find it strange at all they're, that they're being pushed in 100% of the games now? Uh, 100% of the games. All of oh, yeah. them. Yeah. Everything's woke now? Dude, it's... Everything. It's all, homo flags are in everything. Yes. Homo flags uh, are in everything. Being being pushed in every I, single game. Obviously, like, you're... Like, 100% of the games... Are, like, you're... No. Come on. Let's be real. Uh, I, do I, I think I, it's strange? Um... I get it. I don't necessarily. I get it. I don't necessarily play those sides. You what? have to play both sides so that you can keep making money off both audiences. God. I just want the right leaning audience to know that you have zero integrity and you're full of shit. That's all I want them to know. Bro, I Boy, think we're past just, that. You don't know yeah. what you're doing, man. Yes. Okay. You're too. So, so moving. You're too on, pure for this, man. So moving on. Why do you? Well, 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 I didn't answer the question. Okay. Do I think it. it's strange? You want you want a real answer? No, I don't think it's strange. I think corporations do what thinks will make them money, and as you see with Concord, clearly didn't work out. Didn't work out. They didn't make money off of that. Do I think it's strange? No, it's it's a noticeable pattern you could trace at least. Well, not not just back to 2020, but after the the BLM protest riots, after all of that, there like that's when a hard push began where corporations started being like, "Wow, there's a lot of popularity behind this movement. Let's capitalize on that. Let's like that famous fucking what was it a Pepsi ad?" Yeah. So no, I don't think it's strange that they're pushing it. I think it's strange that they push it as hard as they might have done in Concord, uh, but. That game failed for a variety of other yeah. reasons. Not just not just because it had gay. And, and it's also like, it's not even like really like major gay representation. Like most gay people that I fucking know talking about this kind of stuff that are like into games and stuff aren't, oh man, I'm feeling real represented by the new Rainbow Six Siege gay shit that came out. You know what I mean? It's always like, oh fuck, what? You got a rainbow gun skin, you know? You 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 you're in Fortnite and you can like headshot a guy and do some little fucking wacky dance and it's like oh fuck look boing, fucking happy pride over your flag, you know what I mean? Like I I I don't understand how that's even effective. <laughs> that's the point. No one I've ever met in my life that's like. LGBT and a fucking like actual normal human being and not an internet freak. You know what I mean? Who's always just trying to fucking ride the wave in their own direction has ever given a fuck like a fuck every once in a while. Like you'll see somebody's like, Oh, it's nice. There was a gay person that didn't have to do gay people shit the entire time. They were in a fucking game, you know, like this fucking homo got to have a fucking life outside of all of the guys he fucks. And like, uh, you know, his gayness wasn't directly attached to the main character's self-esteem. That was kind of cool. And then on the other side, these guys are like, dude, there's too much fucking representation. I saw a fucking rainbow. I'm like, bro, the fucking, it was raining. <laughs> got over your track. They're stealing it from fucking Noah. Hey, people in it. And it's, it's like. I mean, you're using all the right dog whistles to, to get the certain audience and crowd that you want. Um, and it's like, and, and <laughs> sorry. Um, Man, after you know, my I, heart. I can, I can respect the grift to a certain extent, but you, you have absolutely no grounds to question my integrity uh, when you have none.
Dude, you play. Space. I mean, I get why you play play both sides because you can grow a bigger. You keep, audience you keep saying that. I don't play both gaze. sides. I, I make fun of both sides. Not pissing off the gaze. Yes, you, you, yes, you that's play. how I grew my channel. But you did, obviously, right. my you, play, you have zero integrity and you play both sides. I get it. That's yep. the classic. That's action. what I do, buddy. I mean, I just I play both sides. That's why both sides hate me at times because I make fun of both of them because I don't restrict myself to fifty percent of the material. You why, hate, why would I do that? When have you ever hated on the LGBT community in any? One of, of my most popular videos is. Feminism and SJWs versus video. Dude, what are you it's talking like a, about? It's like a ten-year-old video. People it has five point like, four million happened? views, bro. What are you? Dude, people are like, what? Happened you keep moving the goalposts on everything. It's like, when have you ever made fun? Dude, the Hogwarts Legacy like, shit was last year. You don't know anything about dude, my channel, are, bro. People are like, what happened to that act, man? That's honestly what people are saying now. What happened to that act, man? Because he went away. He disappeared. It was a year ago. No, he didn't. He I made did. the Hogwarts Legacy video last year. What are you talking about? Questionable. What? What? Questionable? What do you mean? Questionable. Like. What, like he didn't make it? <laughs> it's on the fucking internet. Still on my channel. You can check Dude, it out right now. I'm you what the audience is saying Bro. about you. Saying uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just regurgitating what your audience is saying. I, I, I don't care what your audience thinks. I care about what you think. I want to hear your opinions. Bro, this okay? is crazy. And, and, and I told you, I think it's incredibly strange to talk about Concord and not mention the clear woke slop. And you make the, fun of people who use the word woke and you never use the word, even though it completely describes what's going on right now in gay games. Um, so the thing Bro, about the word woke before he even gets into this, I might even predict his his point. Even if I was the most fucking shameless right wing shill, maybe not in that case, because it's the but even if I was like predicated towards like extremely right wing views, I would never say woke because it's fucking corny as shit. It's corny as fuck, dude. It really is. Because first off, it gives up the game. It, it, it just gives up the game. The second you start fucking woke, 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 I already know that I'm going to have to deal with somebody fucking doing NPC dialogue tree shit. No one's ever started talking about woke people and then like a bunch of genius shit came out of their mouth. You're never going to have any conversation about their real thoughts or politics. They're just going to be like, hey, man. Look, uh, woke people are destroying society. Woke is doing something bad. And then you're going to have to try, like, okay, can you define what you mean? No, fuck that. Just be like, oh, but are you doing the fucking woke shit, dude? Do you just want to fucking go outside and suck a dick real quick and then come back in when it's time to be an adult about this? Or, 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 or is this fucking over? It's just time to make fun of the person. Because it's corny as shit. Like, even if I was on the right side of stuff, I would hate to hear it. It's, it's played out. Think about it. It's been woke. Wokeity, woke, 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 which is already a fucking black people term that people were so ass mad about being used that they fucking appropriated it. It's just a white people version of bling in 2023, but specifically just for racists to go around using a fucking AAVE term constantly to describe shit with gay people in it. And it just sounds corny as fuck, dude. It sounds like you're, you're you're trying to get the fucking seals to clap for the most low rent, low value, low IQ fucking inbreeder of a fuck audience that you can get. And like every time I hear like, oh, here we go. We gotta, I got to listen to this fucking shit again. It's to a point where it's not even actually fucking funny anymore. It is literally just no different than when Nazis start Jew, 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 Jew. It's the same shit that the fucking like uh, uh, the, the bigots and dipshits do every time. Where it's like, what are you going to, oh, you going to suck the fucking air out of this conversation? Jokes are done, everybody. Go home. Phil's doing woke again. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize I'm in the fucking presence of a hack. That's how I feel every time I heard that. If I was on the right, if you are on the right, shut the fuck up about the woke stuff, dude. It's not even fun to engage with anymore. It's like, oh, we're getting a win. Like, no, man. It's like you're farting as you're walking onto the elevator and everyone's going, ah, oh, shit, throwing their fucking hands up in the air. Like, Synthetic Man's got your entire fucking, your entire game in the bag and does it better than you because at least he has the balls to be a fucking actual racist on main. He flirts with the end of his entire career on a daily, day, on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't have the fucking balls to go at least that far and start your progression towards full deplatforming by moving through Rumble and Kick off Twitch into the inevitable fucking the 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 the, the podcast circuit ghettos of, of of being a racist on the internet, then I don't give a shit to hear it. 
woke saying woke is the same thing as when fucking anti woke people call uh like lefties that'll say like the R slur and shit safe edgy. That's what it is. Woke is just safe edgy for people who are too big of a fucking pussy to just come out and say a slur. Cause that's what you want to do. Just do it. Have the fucking say what the fuck you mean. It's a dog whistle that's broken and I can fucking hear it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's over. It's tapped out. It's bad fucking content. Is it, it harkens back to that old story we all read and were taught when we were growing up. The boy who cried wolf. These days, it's the boy who cried woke. There is so much disingenuous criticism using the word woke. The word is so liberally applied to everything because there are so many online grifters who produce daily outrage content that are saying this thing is woke this thing is woke you should be angry you should be upset tune in tomorrow for episode 4169 on why star mm -hmm. wars is woke now and why you should hate it and be mad and angry and upset there's a, so much of that going on that the the ending of the story of the boy who cried wolf is that at the end there was a wolf out there but because there were so many false claims of there being a wolf the people didn't help him mm -hmm. so that's what's happened with the word woke when i hear somebody so it's it's what happened to the words racist and sexist a few years ago. People were saying like air conditioning sexist and you know, <laughs> right. all this stupid shit is racist and sexist. And it destroyed the meaning that those words are supposed to have. The boy who cried racist, the boy who cried sexist, the boy who cried woke. These are, these are three books in a volume. Okay. That dude, all have the so, same, the same ending. Dude. So big it's, one. It's, I mean, you're a video game critic and, and you're, you do video game analysis. So I find it shocking that you don't see the pattern in a game like Concord having three black females in it and not a single white man as a as a very astute very talented very good at making videos it's just well, thank wild you. to me oh, that yeah, you you're fucking... it's wild to me that you don't put put together a couple uh, string together a couple of the dots Did, I, I, and even didn't mention, know this like, I, hey huh you know, didn't know this dressing down came with a blow job always one of my favorite moments always one of this happened on my fucking shout out with Zach who the fuck was on my discord earlier you fucking give somebody, somebody comes in with a fucking NPC flow chart and they don't realize they're talking to an actual human being and not just some fucking uh, emotionally unstable uh, anger enthusiast on the internet. And then like you give them a little bit of pushback and then they got to fight. They're like, all right, dude, I'm going to give you, I'm going to suck your dick just a little bit. <laughs> it's always happened. Look, uh, I did have some criticism. I just want you to know you're very funny. Uh, and I would like to send you some like personal messages like in private about like you, but like also like, oh, 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 like <laughs> every fucking time, dude, it's called the, it's called the machine gun Kelly effect is what it is. Fucking put my dick back in your mouth and keep my daughter's name out of it. Like a hundred percent. It's the machine gun Kelly effect. You have seen true grifting even from like little people that aren't making money off of it. If you fucking uh, consume grifter content, understand you're not above it. You will start spewing grifter content back in the world. The grifter particles will get in your fucking head and you'll start saying that shit out loud. That's why I'm like, people shouldn't fucking pay attention to Vosh. People should probably stop watching Hassan as much. They need to fix their content. You got to get away from these fucking idiots because you'll start doing grifter shit and you will experience the fucking like, shit. The fucking machine gun Kelly effect where you're going to have a moment that's like this where you're like, I'm losing the person that's talking to me. All they're doing is just literally fucking reaming me inside out. Maybe I can save myself by just hitting my knees real quick, hitting a couple gluck glucks, and then, and then I'll pop back into the conversation. It is fucking insane. They weren't even good backhanded compliments. You know what I mean? Like so, like saying some shit like, oh, hey, you know, fucking Loner Box, you are probably one of the better fucking waiting rooms out there, right? I mean, I'm just as bored as any of the other ones, but sometimes you play a piano. That's fucking fire. Just the, like, you're very smart, talented, and good at your job. <laughs> just, look, look, look. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm losing this. I'm losing this argument. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> How can you propose, how can you, how can you, uh, uh, portray yourself as an anti-LGBTQ AI plus fucking activist and then have one of your techniques mid-argument be the fucking tactical gluck? <laughs> Annie Pants, Annie Pants 
panicked and accidentally sucked a dude's dick mid-argument. Oh, 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 shit, my bad. <laughs> Even Axeman was taken aback. He's like, yo, oh, let me pull my fucking pants back up. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> the machine gun Kelly, the tactical gluck. <laughs> he had a tactical gluck on him. I think there might be a pattern here in God all these dog damn. shit gay games that keep coming out. A pattern. So you're you're equating black people in video games. No, no, no. It's not about with, black people in video games. It's about wait, wait, constant you, you, shoehorned stupid diversity of of everyone. But you just talked about the, like there's three black people in this uh, video game and no white guys. Uh, excuse right. me. And and that's Base like fucking that's man, the biggest burping. reason you think why Concord. No, no, no. Failed. I'm giving I'm giving you Thank a tiny example of a larger person person problem is, uh, that everyone on the internet agrees is, is going on everywhere okay, right but, now. But and the problem to it, and you just seem to turn your head the other way. And I'm saying that's what's annoying your audience is that they're just like, uh, yeah, Ackman just denies all this stuff because he wants to hang out with leftists. And I'm sure you have a lot of leftist friends in the industry and all these homos and you go to pride parades. And like, I get it, dude. No, no, seriously. <laughs> Bro, dude. Dude, I get it. I, like, I get it. You're about your money at hey. the end of the day. You're about your money, so you have to play both sides in order to keep both sides happy. But I think it means you have no integrity. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. And you're can right. You, and can you're, you go back? Wait, no, no, no. what, what did you right. say just uh uh, 25, 30 seconds ago. Dude, dude, dude you're, you're right. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can you just reiterate what you were saying? I uh, kind of spaced out for a second. <laughs> can we return to the Really? You want me to repeat what I just said? Yeah, yeah. Just I said, really hammer it home. <laughs> I said that you are playing both sides. You have no integrity. And I know that you're going you're gonna to cut together a video of me a year ago saying something stupid. And I'll be the first to say that I've grown since then and I've moved on from former views. Yeah, you, so, you've moved on from the Xbox console warrior grift to the uh, anti-LGBTQ <laughs> grift sure if that's sure if that's what you want to call it have you that's what you it admit, is man can you admit that you've moved on from making based videos to making play both sides puss videos <laughs> dude seriously bro <laughs> god damn bro dude if comedy was a fucking round of guitar hero that's the blink 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 boo <laughs> <laughs> Did he write that out or is that off the cuff? Andy Pants, I'll tell you what. You got to fight. You got to dude pop in here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, buddy. I, you got a good chance. I'll tell you right now. I'm fucking gay as shit. I fucking love guys and show tunes and RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm fucking big flaming homosexual myself. Hair and air like ladies do. I, I, I. Darling, I quite literally play both sides. <laughs> she come here and fucking scrap with me. I want I want you to fucking come up with some god tier zingers like this Seriously. one. See, you're not being have you That's what you it is, admit, man. Can you admit that you've moved on from making based videos to making play both sides puss videos? <laughs> Dude, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the soy has escaped containment. Somebody just said that the soy is everywhere. If it, we you lost, I warned you. I warned everybody. <laughs> I warned everybody that I had something in the. I warned everybody that I had something in the water. It's turning the frogs gay. It's gotten out of control. The containment's broken. Even our strongest soldiers, even our strongest soldiers are now gay. They are gay frogs. We have a Pepe right now. He's trying to do some base posting. He is trying to do some base posting. He's coming off very gay. <laughs> Bro, you can't say the word puss like you ain't never touched one before and include that in an insult. It's just not going to go well for you. This <laughs> shit is miserable. See, you're not being fucking serious with this, bro. Serious. You keep you laughing filters. because you you know what you're saying is so ridiculous. Dude, you have like splinters. that's why you're laughing. Dude, you have, no, I'm chuckling because okay. it's funny. I, I play both you, sides. You have splinters in your ass I, from sitting on the fence so much, dude. You have splinters dude. in your ass from sitting on the fence so much. All you're doing is just taking comments from your comment section no, and just throwing them at me. You're not you you're not giving me like your honest actual opinions. You keep saying like is, you're the gay homosexual. No, you have wood in your butt. Well, opinion. the audience is saying this. The audience is saying I'm not saying. It. I'm just asking questions. Um. This is fucking fire. So, yeah. What? How do I sit on the fence? By point. point. I, I mean, I get it. It helps you make money as a YouTuber. No, but no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm asking for examples of when I've sat on the fence. 
dude. I and, and when I when I've played both sides, when do I do that? Okay. Look, I, I get it. I just watched a political video you made a couple weeks ago, and mm -hmm. you talked about how I don't get into politics because I think politics are toxic, and I just want to talk about games, and that's fine. And, and that, and that, as given your type of content, that makes sense because it helps you play both sides, and it helps you make as much money as possible to not talk about politics. And it's smart. Politics in the real world, okay? I'm not going to make a video about gun control. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm here to talk about politics in media, in storytelling. Yeah, that I'm fine with. I'm not going to tell you how the fucking country should be run, okay? I make video game videos. So what do you mean sitting on the fence when I say, okay, I'm not going to turn into like a political channel that talks about, uh, you know, free speech and second amendment shit. Like I, I, I do that shit on my Twitter, but that's separate on from the worst YouTube channels. Like, I, yeah, I say dumb shit on Twitter all the time, but like, so this isn't really an example of me sitting on the fence when it, it's pretty clear cut, like what the intention is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe reiterate it for me one more time. Okay. You space that. See, it happens. <laughs> Um, so the video on my second channel about, uh, yeah, everything is fine in America. I thought that was a good title. Um, yeah. the, the point of that video is essentially like, Hey, it's a really toxic time in America. There's a lot of, um, heat in the rhetoric and discussion going on. And, uh, I don't want to divide my audience by, oh, sorry, I don't want to divide my audience into, and turn it into some like political channel where I, why do I want to say based act man, letting his fucking phone go off mid interview. <laughs> You're trying to have, you thought you were going to have an extremely online argument with somebody who's so fucking dad coded he didn't put his phone on mute before he started the argument. I like start preaching about, right. you know, whether they're going to take our guns away or oh First Amendment. Or, I'm not here to talk about policies in the real world. I'm here to talk about video games, why they're awesome and bad, and, I, and politics in those games are is part of that analysis, if they're awesome and bad. When you say, oh, there's three black people in Concord, I look at that and I say, okay, that's on like a very, very, very low list of things <laughs> I think are wrong with Concord. No, right? there's, no, there's actually like five or six black people in Concord. I said there's yeah, three there's... black women in Concord. Oh, oh even no, no, worse. No, it's, it's... Even worse. They're, they were women too? Fuck. Dude, you want to see some real grifter status? Check this out. I got a, I got a fucking text from a, a unregistered number. And look, it's Kamala Harris. I I am the grifter. I I have accomplished the grift. She said she's gonna fly me and a friend out. Me me and a friend. We could go to Washington D.C. and hang out with her. That's what my phone says. I believe this, dude. Dude, it's it's, it's funny that you bring this up because um somebody on your server actually called a black person a monkey. It's wow, you bring up no racism. way. No, no, no. One I, person in my funny. fucking Discord server no, no, no. said look, something look, racist dude, once? Look, dude, oh my know, god. Look, oh dude, my god. <laughs> he's so based. Dude, Are you look, for real, bro? Are you no, for no, real? No, no, Don't come no, at me with look, this fucking weak shit. No, no, no. And look, and look, I will be the first person to say that there's stuff on my Discord that happens that I that I don't know about. My only point in saying this is that there's no nobody more racist than leftists like you. Nobody is more racist. How the fuck did you extrapolate that? Are you are do you have brain damage? How did you extrapolate this from some fucking random? This is what you come at me with, bro. So, oh my god. So if, this if, is weak. No, dude, you ain't I'm no Giga Chad, you. bro. This is Dude, I'm just telling you that somebody on your server, there's a there's a black wow. guy from my, there's a black guy from my community on your server and he got called a monkey and then somebody said that he lived in a mud hut. So, I guess these are the people hey, that you Well, thank you for bringing that to my attention because well, I yeah. can talk to my mods and take action against this. Yeah. If action hasn't already been taken. Yeah. Um, well, this no, is I the hard-hitting stuff. The the Discord yeah, messages from random uh, users in a public server. Yeah. So wow. no, I just thought it was. I thought it was. Funny I thought it was funny because it shows how racist you are that one person got in your shit. server and said something racist, and that right. that I'm putting all on you. And you're a leftist, it's and more, you're like, are you retarded, Andy? You're not retarded. Before. There's no way you can make this possible connection through any logical means Dude. and actually believe it. Dude, your friends that go to go to the Pride Parade are gonna hate that you said retard right now. They're gonna. Hate I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. Your I don't give a shit. friends are going to hate that you said retarded. I know. You guys should ch check out my leftist my friends for friends. unsubscribed podcast that I was just on. Don't this is this is a thing. This is one of the weirdest one of the weirdest things um that you see pop off here and there. Is this like I don't know where it comes from necessarily. Um I have an idea, you know, but it's like the if you have a single leftist prescription in your head, well first off, they'll just assume shit, but like the uh I'm going to I'm going to tell on you to the other lefties who you will 100% agree with that this thing is like, they're going to find out that this thing that I would as a righty think is like highly based. I'm going to try to punish you by admitting that like that it's a, it's a weird, 
it's a weird thing. It, I guess it speaks to like this belief that like um, non completely like ultra theocratic right fashy type shit. It still holds to the same level of like dogmatism that it does, which is just not the case. Like some people try to be dogmatic, but it's really just not a universal at all. Like most people don't give a shit. I don't know. I don't know. Those guys, man, they really want to take away our guns. And uh, yeah. No, I guess I get, but, but I, I Unsub shout out to the guys and, on unsubscribe. Uh and more to the point, like he's already said the word a few times. Like he's not a leftist. And, and the thing is, like, you can convince yourself, but if you're not going to, like, come with, like, some really fucking funny receipts or, like, some good traps to get him caught up, him just not being a woke leftist is going to show, is going to be really evident, like, when he, you talk to him and he's like, I'll say retarded right now. I don't care. I'll do it. Like, don't use it as a slur against people, in my opinion, like, but if you have to repeat it, you know, it's like. What what's the damage? You know, like it it he's like it doesn't fucking matter, and and I think he started off saying that something was that, which is extra crazy. Like you're like we're, we're all saying the same slur here. What do what do you mean? <laughs> what are you imagining in me? Uh, those guys are fucking awesome. I had a great time, by right. the way. I just thought it was funny with Concord. It's I'm I love black characters in games. I think it's great to have black characters in games. My point is that it's odd to be like clearly hey, not six black characters in a game and not one white character, and it shows a, a bias. And I think it's I think what game has eighty six black characters, and not one white character? Just a certain specific like, you play like FIFA African League or something. <laughs> what 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 is? It? I thought it was three black ladies and one white guy. That's a weird goalpost move. I think you, you do your channel a disservice by like never talking about it and it's like you specifically avoid ever talking about these these things like the uglification of women dude like the Star uglification Wars. did you Bro, come up with that word that true. is dude the uglification are, are you gonna sit dude are you gonna sit here and deny that women are being made ugly in games <laughs> like you're, you're chuckling about it but you know it's true <sighs> yeah samus ain't, ain't a babe no more she's um if you want to, like, again, if you want actual real answers, but you're going for, like, cheap gotchas that are, are not no, no, going to work, I, okay? I, you're, I, you're firing blanks at me, bro. I mean, <laughs> I and... and I, mean, I mean, if you'll answer them, I'd like real answers and gotcha answers, but... Gotcha uh, answers? You, well, you, fuck, you got me. Women are super ugly in video games. No. How dude, have I not seen the light? I'm dude, just I, now seeing it, Andy. I, I, just, I just find it very strange that you would deny... Dude, it's like... I, deny I what? It's, deny what? Finish that sentence. I find it in interesting that you would deny the obvious like uglification of women of women that's going on in games. Uglification. Right now. Okay, so do you remember uh, do you remember what I was talking about with the boy who cried wolf? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So when people come out and and I hear about this game is woke, this you know, blah 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 blah. Here that should if you go on Twitter, you could, you will see something new every single fucking day. I don't make videos just because one person on Twitter said it's woke or wow, look at how ugly they are and all that shit. It's like I'm I'm going for substance. I'm not just here somebody to to obsess over the graphics. Of, of every single video game female character and, and like analyze how big her boobs are and whether she's got a camera toe. Uh, like, yeah. I try to cover important shit about video games and that's fine, the... that's fine if people want to cover that shit like and, and talk about that. Um, Dude, but you're but talking... I, I'm not obligated to make videos about the uglification of women. No, 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 I'm not saying you're I'm not saying you're obligated to make videos about it, but I'm you're saying why don't I? Because I I'm interested in other aspects of video games. Like right, that that isn't gonna piss off the lefties. I get it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I never want to piss them off at, uh, you know. So, never. I, I don't think like where when, when was that? Was that like twenty are we talking about like Anita Sarkeesian, like 2014, 2015? Anyone on like a, of a progressive bent at all giving a shit about how hot chicks are in video games? First off girls like hot girls in video games too and also like the gays the overall disposition of people that like like seeing hot people when they observe anything is most people and and having like the random motherfuckers for representation in games is like such a fucking afterthought that it's almost like non-existent the, the best one is rainbow six where everyone's a fucking supermodel you know what I mean? Like everybody in Rainbow Six Siege is fucking hot as shit to somebody specifically. And then there's like like one or two characters that are non-traditionally attractive. But if you're the kind of person that are into them, then you're fucking going to be hyper into them too. You know what I mean? Like there's a little bit of something for everybody. But like other than random dog shit indie games, no one fucking gives a fuck about games that fail 
because they're already so bad that they just jam random shit in it as a marketing gimmick to get some of the last minute fucking outrage to drive sales. Like outside of that shit, what the fuck are we talking about? I can already play fucking Elden Ring, make the most hilariously grotesque character possible and play it. And it doesn't change Elden Ring at all. Same for any character creator game, which most people turn on and turn like make make mutant characters. What games are these? Are you just still pissed that the Abby chick is not like you can't crank your fucking hog to Abby from Last of Us 2, which I also just didn't play. I just, I just wasn't interested in it. I can't even I thought like I love The Last of Us, but I guess it's actually kind of a boring fucking game. I can't get past the intro anymore. I bought the fucking game of the year edition and got bored because it's a fucking waysided game. You know what I mean? Was it what, it, it Fucking uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is just boring to me. What are, I can't think of the other fucking games. All of them are still packed full. If they got people in them, they're hot. You know what I mean? Or at least like observably like neutral or pleasant to look at. What what fucking games are these? I just, I just can't give a sh- I can't give a shit. You know what? I, I cannot fucking care. <laughs> My favorite game is Hollow Knight. Everybody's bugs. One of my other favorite video games does have a female lead, but it's Metroid. Super Metroid. And she's in fucking armor all the time. So it doesn't matter anyway. Final Fantasy VII Remake just came out. It's all fucking tits and ass everywhere. All the characters are hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, what are these games? Never, never. So, oh, so let me just, let me just confirm let me take Let me take a tip from you. I should start scrubbing my stuff, like the Feminist and SJWs. I should get rid of that. I should get rid of the Hogwarts Legacy video so that I can really lean hard into appealing to uh, leftists. I mean, if you good strategy. Be- good strategy, Andy. Dude, I, I wasn't very good at, you know, I clearly wasn't very good at scrubbing myself. No, you weren't. You left a massive fucking paper trail, and I have no idea I don't why even know you about agreed the, to talk with me. Star Wars you- Outlaws. I think I'm getting that game. I bought a new computer so that I can stream, and my stream doesn't get constantly fucking interrupted because my, my graphics card's ancient now, and my whole computer's ancient. Um, but I think I get Star Wars Outlaws for free with it. So I might play some Star Wars Outlaw on stream. Did I tell you else? Did I tell you guys what else I got? No, I can't show you yet. When you I left so much surprise. evidence behind, I, I got a Dude, surprise I grew game. as a person. Can you say that you you're, you're going to have to you're going to have to flip flop on a lot no, of I'm things, not, man. Uh, I will 100 percent say yes. I flip flopped and I grew as Tifa is hot. Tifa is hotter in the remake than in the original FF7. Shut your fucking mouth. Your fucking character is part of my sexual awakening, okay? I hit puberty right around the time that fucking Final Fantasy VII came out. And, like, Tifa in a cutscene looks like dog shit now. You, you'll never understand this if you didn't live in the 90s, but, like, bad graphics, your brain would just, like, make them look good in your mind. Little fucking, like, 13-year-old me was like, that's what I want. <laughs> As a person, are you willing you to flipped, admit that you, you flipped on a lot of things. Yeah, are you willing, I mean... Are you, are you willing to admit that you went from catering to an alt-right audience and now you're talking to lefties now? No. What are you talking... <laughs> when, when did I cater to an alt-right audience? Your, your audience is saying you used to be based and you're not. Uh, again, anymore. again, your audience. What do you think? Don't talk about my audience or your audience. This isn't a debate I between think, me and your fucking chat, okay? I think you're a lefty now. I think you've, you've gone left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hardcore. Hardcore. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I want, I, I get I it, want like, communism. Activision, if you want to rub elbows with the Activision execs and all those people. You're, you're just you gotta... recycling all this dumb shit that isn't sticking at Jesus all. Jesus like, Christ. All right. Yeah. Activision. <laughs> Karl Marx's own company. <laughs> Activision, the 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 beacon of Marxism on Earth. Activision, <laughs> like, it, but hang on, back to the women. Andy, wanna... let me let me ask you a question. Yeah, you like Box God Tifa? Box Tifa's the already the, the 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 overworld Tifa is not the only one that you see. She's she's like drawn in the old manuals and stuff, and then the the actual cutscenes are are more detailed. What, why do you ask that? I just, uh, just curious. I mean, I mean, if you're, do you think, I, I want you to be, you don't have to be honest with me, but you got to be honest with him. Well, do you think where you're at wait, right wait, now? Wait, you're not a Christian. God is yeah. And in combat too. Wait, you, are detail. you a Christian now? Do you believe in God? Cause it sounds like say that. I'm, I'm asking you, man. I'm but, asking you. Well, but what does it matter if God doesn't are you exist? A Christian or a Jew? What are you talking about? You think God doesn't exist now? No, no. You said that you're not a Christian earlier. So I assume you don't think God is, God exists. So what does it matter? Oh, so you're just making assumptions. Uh, so you do believe that God exists? I believe a God exists. Okay. So you're not a practice. Would you call yourself a Christian? No, 
No, I don't go to church. I don't practice religion. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, you know, there's like non-denominational people who don't right. ascribe to like, uh, at least from my understanding, right? Uh, you know, different denominations. There's so many interpretations of Christianity, but um, right. I'm, I will, I'm I will asking you. I will pray about that. And I, and thank you for bringing that to my attention. And, and I will consider that. Consider what? That, that uh, your, your question about me being hateful and, you know, like as a Christian, I do have to consider that stuff. Like I don't, I, I do. don't want to be hateful. I don't you want have to, to look, but you see, have to decide how you want to pursue internet fame. What path do you want to go down? Because like I've told you, I've seen some of your other older videos that you've tried to hide from your audience. And some of them are good. Some of them are, some of them are good. You know, the, you had a video about how Fallout New Vegas has the best quest design. And, you know, it's like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, right. you should do more stuff like that and not I mean, pander so much to the gays are destroying our video games crowd. Well, it's like, are, sure, though, sure. Like, so yes, but the boy uh... who cried wolf, okay? So it's hard to find the wolf when every fucking time a new game comes out, it's woke, and it's and the gays are ruining it. Every fucking time a new video, you just said 100% of the games that come out are woke. Every yeah. single fucking one of them, okay? This <laughs> Not... is a boy who cried wolf scenario, and it's... Okay, I... I so know, I, I can't, how am I supposed to take, am I just supposed to believe in what you say, blindly? Dude, this Are you is, the ultimate yeah, like, arbiter of, of what's... How is fucking, like... Fear and hunger woke. I get what because it's got like the trans girl in the second one, but like, dude, fear and hunger is a game with like nudity, sexual assault, extreme violence. Uh, it, it it's just it's it, it's an absolute series of grotesqueries. <clears throat> and depending on who you are, I mean, I can't remember if the kid that the characters are supposed to be young or not, but the characters are like aesthetically pleasing to look at. You know what I mean? Um, intentionally so for whoever's eyes eyeing them like what about Funger dude what about Funger what about Funger Termina which I have purchased um, along with another game which is the actual fucking the actual reveal game uh, but you know like the, what, 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 what game woke and all this why don't you know we count I mean? like, like, dude I'm just saying games, it's odd that you never you know? talk about it it's odd that you never talk about it I talk about it when I feel like it's an actual issue or when I have like the me. Hogwarts legacy stuff bro Okay, that was a right. huge deal. That was okay. a huge deal. I've okay. talked about this before. I had a, I had, a, I did a video. It was like Ocarina of Time is a gay coming of age story. I, I did a. By the way, I saw you earlier, this, bro. Because I didn't say uh, hi. Random hi, hi, article, Brooks. and it was like it was so bizarre, and <laughs> it was just see what, what I've always made fun of and criticized on my channel is bad faith critique of video games and the medium of video games. Base. And people make bad faith arguments on the left. People make bad faith arguments on the right. OK, I don't I don't discriminate against either of those. It's all fair game. OK, it's all fair game. So I don't so, fence it. I don't play both sides. Dude, of course you do. You said you did in a video. You said, I don't want to talk about politics. That's, That's politics sick. in the real world, not in video games. Come That's on, bro. Thing. It's the same thing, dude. You're still. No, it isn't. It. No, it isn't. It. How, it's how, fitting because you don't want to piss off the leftist because that would interfere with your bag. I get it. <sighs> that is the dumbest fucking thing I've heard. Okay. Okay. Uh, wh so, why would I not look at look at the views you're getting on your audience? Why would I not cater to that crowd? What are you talking about? Because you don't want it. Because you would lose. Uh, yeah, I would lose. Yeah, I would lose the lefties. Lefty. That's why when you're saying your audience is wondering why you don't cover this, yeah, it's when right. people unsubscribed. <laughs> right. And no, I, it's not I, the I, leftists, dude. I, I I do I do appreciate your advice from earlier, but the reality is, do you want to focus even, on that? I, even in my old Xbox videos, I talked about woke stuff. I talked about woke stuff on my old Xbox channel. It's just that happened to be an audience that didn't want to hear me talk about the woke stuff, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna follow the algorithm and make content that my that my audience wants here, but. I still 100% have always believed the woke stuff. I've always been very passionate and outspoken about my faith. Yeah, but, so but you had nothing, you so had changed in that regard. You had nuanced takes, though. That was the difference, is that you would say things along the lines of, yes, you know, I, I think more trans, gay, lesbian characters in games uh, is a good thing. However, that doesn't mean you I get would've... to criticize. Wait, wait, wait. However, that doesn't mean I'm paraphrasing what you're saying, by the way. Right, right. Uh, but but I have the you know, we have the videos, but you would say, however, that doesn't mean you get to criticize Kojima for fetishizing women in his games. And I was like, you know what? That that's a nuanced take. Like right. you, you, you are hard pivoting to a very specific crowd, and Dude, I'm not pivoting to anything. This is stuff that I've always talked about. You can, I'll show you a. a you you have world. always talked about it, but you were not as as far gone as you are right now. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, for somebody that uh, apparently did a good video on New Vegas, this guy is failing every single charisma and speech speech check. That can... <laughs> They're like at like tens, <laughs> fucking. Speech ten out of fucking one hundred. Still can't get it. Say is that that's why I ask. You know, right. did right. God allow? Has He taken the hatred out of your heart? And you don't have to answer that to me or your audience or anybody, but you will have to answer that to Him. 
you know dude, dude there's, there's so true activities and actions that god um says are shameful and says are sinful and so and the ninth I am, commandment I am taking a stand for christ every single day oh. that i make my youtube channel and that i make videos i'm taking a stand for truth oh, get, i'm taking boo. a stand for god and so i don't have to be uh, ashamed about any of that Boo. No. as opposed to playing both sides <clears throat> and like kind of claiming to be a lukewarm christian and like oh i'm gonna lukewarm cool. christian gonna no 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 Friday no don't misinterpret it don't like, i don't actually believe anything versus like i'm standing on god's word i'm a christian and i'm standing on those values and i make videos about it no but i get it look dude i get it you don't want to get into religion nobody ever wants to talk about religion so i'm not going to talk about that i don't i don't mind. I, I brought it up for a reason yeah let's talk about it i mean no don't do I, it in one of the, in one video don't i found it, you dude. uh you said you used to debate atheists, dude. I, dude, I was debating atheists yesterday. People on oh, my really? channel, people on my channel hated it. Hated it. So my channel is maybe like seventy percent religious people and like thirty percent atheist agnostic. And I was debating with atheists on my channel yesterday, and I lost like twenty two subscribers because I was debating atheists. And I, and I shouldn't have done it. So anyway, I was debating. I atheists. do find it interesting, bro. How fucking small is this guy's? Ch also, the very telling, very telling. My man said I lost 22 subscribers because I debated atheists. Why? Are you... If you're number watching that hard, you're engaging in active co cognito hazards. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right, left, center, any political disposition. If you know to the fucking like single digits how many fucking subscribers a single action is giving you, you are engaging in cognito hazards. He <laughs> said. I fucking lost 22 subscribers specifically over the last debate I did. I was like, okay, cool. You should probably go and argue with somebody that's going to cement your reputation permanently in your entire, in your entire sub niche and absolutely fuck it up completely. Interesting that you keep note of exactly how many subscribers you lose. Dude, you I remember a post on, you do, on dude, come on, brother. No, I that's, don't. That's, Not that's really. That's why you're playing both sides is because you're looking at your numbers. I get it. My numbers are all up right now they're pretty yeah. pretty good yeah uh, and it's not because i mean it's not because i'm catering to yeah. leftists i would have yeah. made some fucking shit tier excuse andy pants is a 160k channel and he knows he lost 22 subscribers is fucking madness dude that is like the biggest indicator of a fucking grift that that kidding like it that at that size your double digit alteration in fucking viewers is crazy like especially when you're that big dude for me even 22 is like kind of like okay you know like maybe i could sort of notice it but if i just don't look for a little while it goes away Unless like I've completely fucked up or something, you know what I mean? Because like you, you do th this happens all the time. I'll do something and people will get pissed off. Bots get cleared out. You, you get followed, dude. You get followed by so many fucking bots. Once you hit like a thousand ish, right? If you have steady growth, you constantly get bot follows, and then they get caught and they get knocked out. I know this because they try to post shit. They try to post shit because they see me getting liked in the algorithm, and they just hope that. I don't have bot protection on my channel. So they just auto follow you and try to spam into your comments. And then they get, so that's part of your subscriber drops that everybody gets all the time. 22, like, like I've seen consistently here and there. It's like 50, 25, 100, and sometimes 250 or 500 sub drops that go like this. Bloop, and it's like a hard number. Bloop, like, what the fuck happened there? You know what I mean? It's it's fucking bots. It'll happen when I didn't do anything. You know what I mean? So I just stopped looking at that shit. I'm like, oh, okay. I get it. You like report stuff and like those like numbers will go bloop, right? And then like your your just regular growth continues. So it's not like you did anything. Your your growth is a trend. It's not an exact moment. So if you're fucking hyper focusing, you're like, I said something specific and I lost 22 people. Like you are internalizing data in the wrong way. You're going to make yourself go fucking insane. If you start number watching like that, and it's hard not to, to some people. And even to me, like every once in a while, you know, you fucking number go up, feel real good. You know, fucking, I, I like to give it, I give it to myself as a present, as a present. Every couple of days or so, I will open it so that I refresh and see my subs. If I'm not like within like a hundred or so of the next major goal, I'll then I'll do it. And now that I'm over fucking 10k, I'm like less interested in doing it anyway. Outside of like maybe like the 5k intervals, if I can keep growing like really really fast, that would be cool. 
But if you start fucking, fucking 22 loss, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. If you're out there and you're making stuff, don't don't hyper fixate on that. Don't do it. You'll make yourself lose your mind. For Concord, if that was the case, yeah, I'm like, you, you know, what? actually wasn't that bad. Handy pants, more like handy stuff, pants, more like, like gooner. Thank you, right Annalise. So I get why you can't super talk chat. about woke stuff. You, uh, do you actually believe that? It's I, I can prove it. Dude, prove oh, you us can wrong, prove it. Oh, God, bro. Prove us wrong and make an alt-right video tomorrow, and I promise you, you'll, you'll you, you want, a so, subscribers. So bro, what a you want request. me to make a video about something I don't actually think or believe? Okay, so you so, so you you, you want me to start grifting, <laughs> dude? Earlier earlier you were acknowledging that there is a push for LGBT stuff in all the games now. Not all the games, not all of no, them. Not all the games, but but Hell Divers too. I mean, that was that was a pretty fucking masculine game. It you're was, talking it, about uh, new. Well, I guess uh, you're talking about new characters. I guess Hell Divers right. wasn't a new franchise. But if we're going back to that example, sorry, I cut you off. What are you saying? Hang on, dude. And, and by the way, you never answered answered this question. I just want to get oh. it on tape. You saying that women, the the attractiveness of women in games now compared to ten years ago has not gone down. Women, female attractiveness has got not gone down in quality in video games the past ten years. Oh, you're giving me a script now? No, I'm not giving you a script. I'm just asking. You, you just you just told me you want me to say that on tape. <laughs> Holy no, shit! No, look, whatever. Come on, bro. Come look, on, look, man. Look, it is simply a question. Do you that wasn't agree? a question. You said, I want to get this on tape. Can you say this? <laughs> Do you agree or disagree that female attractiveness has gone down the past 10 years in video games? How do you quantify that? Dude, you know it's true, man. You know they look, women look like garbage in games. I mean, if if I were to look at like recent video game releases, um, I'm sure there will be a mix. Dude, I think... Like, why are you I think. Well, here, here's the thing. Here's that... You remember that Overwatch diversity chart that leaked? Yeah. So stuff like that, stuff that is tangible. I cover stuff like that. It's not not like, oh, this female character doesn't yeah. have a rocking double D boobs. Uh, wokeness? W woke? I don't make shit like that, okay? Uh, but when it's something tangible, when it's like an internal document at Blizzard that shows that they're grading their characters based on a set of diversity <laughs> charts mm -hmm. and numbers, yeah, I'll cover that because that's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. That's actually something for me to point at and say, wow, this is like a really bad mindset to make video games with instead of like some creative inspiration where now we're tokenizing everybody. It, we're, and giving them a score, a diversity score. Dude, um, careful, careful. You, 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 yeah, you I'm going like to piss right off now. the leftists. I'm Dude, gonna you sound like you're going alt right now. I love. Oh that. yeah, Go yeah, back. yeah. When are we? When are we getting to the final solution? You know, when are we going uh, to? Right. When are we going to uh, get rid of them all? We kill can all we, the white just, people? Kill all no, the no, the gays. The gays. About? Kill all the. Well, they want to get rid of all the white men. Can we? So. Can we just skip the bullshit and just go right to the final solution? I mean, I mean we're talking. They're talking about killing all the white men. So no, but I, I'm talking you and me. Like, what are? How, how are we gonna start the great? The... Oh, how are we gonna survive it when they come for? The no, 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 no. How how are we going to kill them all? Who, who are we talking about? The gays. <laughs> The people, the people. Like itty gays. Gays are celebrated everywhere. Every single corporation is will pass no, you I, on the I, back I, and give you twenty promotions if you're gay and trans and yeah, you see, get, so like die from getting patted on the back for being gay right now. Um all right, dude. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna wind the video down here, but I did want to ask you one last final um question that's not edgy at all that I am curious about. Sure. I, I mean, like if you still want to have like a real conversation, but if you want to just dude, shoot blanks at me, I'm I'm down to deflect each and every one. <laughs> What is you say he's shooting blanks, I like baby? I'm a huge, and you might have talked about this in one of your videos, but I didn't see it. I like you. I'm a huge Halo fan. What is the best Halo multiplayer game? Uh, I would say three. Three is probably three. my choice. Um, re like, like, see, this is what we should be talking about. We should be talking about like video games that we love, and not just like how everything, every franchise we love is dead, dying. You know, it's all because of the gays and and shit like that. Like, there's there's some truth to agendas being pushed in video games, obviously, but mm -hmm. it's it's not like a direction that I base my entire identity and channel around, mm -hmm. okay? I, I mean, you have passion for video games, clearly, yeah. and I hope you chase that passion and the things you love about gaming instead of just, because I've been there, man. I I know this is a bit of a tangent, but, um, you know, I, I've been there. I used to make Halo 5 bad videos, and I made quite a few of them, you know? And then at a certain point early in my career, I was like, I don't, just want to be talking about what I don't like about video games or what I hate or what's pissing me off all the time. I want, mm -hmm. I, you know, I dude. Well, yeah, I had that. I, I so, had, but that what do you think? Halo three or dude? Uh, I actually really like, um, Halo five multiplayer. Um, just cause I thought it was the tightest and like, I, th I thought it was like the tightest and the most competitive and it, it made me rage the most, but like also like Halo three multiplayer is very, very good. And like, I totally understand where you, where you're coming from. What dude, what do you think went wrong with Halo master chief collection? You know what? That's a really good question. Like, how did they... I think they were probably locked into the deadline of releasing it on the 10-year anniversary of Halo 2. 
<clears throat> excuse mm-hmm. me and they didn't have all the pieces together but they were like it's the 10-year anniversary fuck it it's yeah. like it's, it's got to go yeah uh, it's got to launch but no halo 5 is a respectable opinion um yeah it is it is respectable um because there, there's a lot of good mechanics about that game and a lot of good aspects of it and i can totally get why uh it kind of kept the commute the competitive scene alive halo 5 did because after reach and four it was in pretty dire straits um so retrospectively looking back on halo 5 like yeah you know in the ways it pushed for the competitive scene were probably good yeah dude what it is, came at the cost of casual matches a bit but yeah dude what is going on with xbox right now man like why is xbox you 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 got the xbox channel bro you tell me <laughs> dude what i used you... to dude i have like turned my back on xbox because it's such trash now but like dude because because i saw you talking to marty the other i mean i know he doesn't work at xbox i know he's a bungee guy and that was that was a cool interview i enjoyed but like what is even going on with uh he's a woke leftist too did you know that he's secretly a super woke leftist no he's marty. not dude, he's yeah, he is. dude he, he, he's a republican uh um Dude, he's hardcore conservative. No, no, no. It's it's all it's all front. It's, I see, yeah, right. <laughs> see, because I, I only I only pander and, ha- and talk with hardcore leftists. <laughs> okay, I see what that's that's all, the only people I associate with. Yeah, no, no. no Marty's you're... great. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like sometimes the way he handles things on social media, you know, maybe not the best, but I, I'm like he's a fucking right. adult. You know, I'm not gonna tell him how he should manage his online persona. Right. Um, I know that some people in the Halo community uh, used to look uh, at him very fondly, and some people have felt uh, disillusioned with with him in some ways. Mm. And yeah. that's that's kind of what politics can do with an yeah. audience because I've. You know, I built my audience on gaming and like right. defending the hobby from, like I said, bad faith critique of it, um, and that comes from all directions. So, yeah. So I don't pull punches, dude. What? What? Do you, why can't Xbox get like a good game out right now? Like, I mean, See, or, this is the shit I would love to talk with about it. To sum it up generally, that's why Xbox is kind of children. Like, you know, yeah. oh, oh, you cut out for a second. Oh, please. Like, um, Cliffy B. L- yeah, yeah, Cliffy B, you know, people yeah. at Bungie, uh, even going so far back as maybe even Rareware, when they bought Rareware, like, oh yeah, I mean, Live and Reloaded is great, Conquer Live and Reloaded, but like, where the yeah. fuck is another Conquer game? Like, yeah, dude, like, what happened? Yes, dude, like, now I'm like way less interested. I, I, I think that's probably it. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm very interested in hearing from Andy, man, unless he's saying some fucking dumb shit. Um, that fucking was crazy. Uh, not the absolute most ridiculous blowout I've ever seen. I think that still pretty much goes to like Destiny and Jontron because he permanently altered the course of a fucking whale's career. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, Andy Pan's game looked like fucking dog shit there. That was horrible, horrible. Um, and very, very cringe. Uh, I I hate this fucking. Nouveau uh, Christianity on the internet shit. It's so fucking cringe. Um, especially because it's like, dude, if you're going to be a Christian, just be a fucking Christian like all of the rest of them and do your job and shut the fuck up about it. You know what I mean? Because it's it always, you, it, you can never, it never goes like mid. It's never like, oh shit, no, actually, like as a Christian, I just don't do that. And like, like, so it, it's never that. It's always like I I have Jesus my my personal relationship with Jesus guides my uh discussion of tits in gaming. <laughs> it, it, like it's that every time. I've never heard I haven't heard of a fucking Christian on the internet in these modern times that's in the same circles as that that I am that does not say the most humiliating shit for other Christians to have to hear. Because I mean, can can you imagine your your like church churchy grandma, like what is she talking about? Like, well, grandma, right now he's going into how uh, girls and video games, cartoons, yes, cartoons, the cartoons girls, yes. He says the cartoon girls on the video games, the computer games aren't 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 hot anymore. Oh no, those girls aren't real. I know, I know, Grandma. They're not real girls. They're cartoon girls. He needs to get right with Jesus. <laughs> if you were an actual Christian, you had any Christians in your fucking life, the second you started talking about you want to fuck a girl in a video game, they'd be like, we need to, we need to pray for you. <laughs> If you're from any real version of Christianity that's not cringe as fuck, people start trying to put their hands on you. Now, I need to just hold on now. Lord, this man has wandered from the path. We need to now shut. No, no, don't worry about it. This, this young man has wandered from the path, wandered from your light, Jesus. He is seeing 
in these video games, women who aren't real, and he is concerned that they are not beautiful, and he needs to be shown the beauty of your light, Jesus. He needs to be moved so that he may understand your works. <laughs> Dude, the like the flip back and forth, like as a Christian, I don't like gays in video games is so fucking weird. You shouldn't like video games, dipshit. You shouldn't like video games. Why if you're an actual Christian, why are you not spending your time doing good works? Why are you playing fucking video games with the rest of the sinners, you loser fuck? <laughs> Talking about fat bait and shit. Uh, this is just at standard day-to-day -day cringe. So fucking funny to see somebody that's absolutely normal coded, absolutely normy coded like the act man. He's been, he's probably being given his roses by everybody and way more important people on the internet than me. But like, God damn, dude, this is fucking funny as shit. Um, he was pretty nice to him overall. It was mostly a self hanging. It was, it was pretty funny to see. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll wrap it up with, can I, can we just start calling it out? If you're a Christian, can you just start? It doesn't have to be a whole thing. You don't have to get involved. Can you just start? Ugh, just ugh, with that. I feel like a good collective ugh, is usually enough for Christians to get other Christians back on some semblance of a fucking path. Y'all respond very strongly to disgust. <laughs> it's a, it's a positive and a negative at times, but I really do think the like, Oh, I, I'm I'm praying to Lord. I, I I am one with God. I am one in His light. His message does shine through me. I I I do try to bring His works and His and His good word to talking about fat bait on the internet. <laughs> that shit is fucking weak, dude. It is. It is so fucking. It is so fucking lame. Like, I I I can't insult it enough. It it it's just so antithetical to all the cool shit about Christianity, which may or may not be evil. But like, are, do you think the Teutonic Knights would be like, oh yeah, that's fucking based, based in, based in fucking Inquisition pill. Like, bro, the, the, the people that are like you, me having my general reaction, like, like there were atheist Catholics back in the day. All right. You're like, this is all a bunch of bullshit, but I have a job to do. Guys like me would be flaying guys like you. Just because of how fucking cringe you are. I hate to break it to you. You're like, oh, you're Tyler. You're not like a super practicing Catholic. You're not deep into the Christianity. It's like, I know, but I know how to not be fucking weird. Like that fucking weird socially. And you just have to understand, like, like even your excess zealotry and your performative Christianity would be received poorly. There, There's a version of this if we rewind time where you're like, look, I just wanted to... I, I I was just speculating, my lord, on why women do not shave themselves as they should be. Like, yeah, well, I'm sorry, but the edicts have been passed down, and the entire clergy thinks you're cringe, so it's time for you to lose all of your skin, homeboy. <laughs> God damn, bro. So fucking lame. All these fucking guys. Can we please get... Can all... Can all I wish a very quick... You all lose your fucking jobs and positions on the internet to all Gamergate tours. Can we get back to whatever the fuck conservatives used to do? I was watching the hippy dippy was way more entertaining than any of this shit. The hippy dippy fucking uh, recruitment that I did yesterday was fucking based. Um, even the conservatives were very interesting to hear talk about stuff. They were a lot more engaged with conversation points. There was a whole lot, a whole lot less flow charting. And I think it's really time to break down the dams. Like if you're just on the right, I'm just trying to speak to you. It's bad content and it's not very convincing to any of us. And I don't think that it's going to result in a day of the rope for you or even just a destruction of the Department of Education or even just an increase in police funding, really. I, I think it's a it's a long-term losing maneuver to have this these dumb fucks in charge of your movements and it's cringe all the way down and it's embarrassing to the point where even the most normy normy people are just like, bro, can we not? Like that's that act man's entire thing wasn't even just harping on him for being an idiot. He's like, I think you're kind of full of shit and a fakey 
grifter and this is cringe can you just talk about something else and then the guy talked about something else at the end and he goes yeah see isn't that better <laughs> like like he literally literally tried to shine eyes in the uh, shine light in the eyes of andy pants as he rode from judeca or whatever this is the fuck onto damascus as he was riding to damascus but but the scales have yet to fall from his eyes. Paul, it is time to become or Saul, it is time to become Paul. Okay. Um it it is it's really just it's really cringe. It's really lame and it's really fucking boring. It's hard for me to continue talking about it because a lot of you guys don't even have the like artistic umph to be funny and fun. You know what I mean? It's just an empty bowl scraped almost clean and i can't believe people are still engaging with it and it's just so fucking cringe it's such ass content it's so fucking lame hope you enjoyed your time on the west side